What's up guys, Zephyr here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we were able to finish off the, um, the Rustboro City Gym, and now, what is this? Weird dialogue text? It's the pirate guy! Oh my god, they took his goodies. Oh my god, they took his goodies. Let's go help that man get his goodies back. No man should ever have his goodies fondled or touched or taken. It's just wrong. But anyway, let's go help this guy. We're gonna get your goodies back, man. Uh, I hate those random encounters. And if I actually had a way to evolve that Abra, I'd totally do it. But Oh, wow, I forgot to uh, go back to the Pokemon Center. Really should have done that. Oh well, we got potions, that's what they're made for. And now we can get Halo a little bit more experience. So let's go ahead and battle the bug catcher so we can get Taylor some experience and hopefully, uh, I think Mudkip evolves at 16, at least I want to think that. I'm always confused of what level these Pokemon freaking evolve because they some of them evolve at different different times like um like Oshawa evolves at level 17, Bulbasaur evolves at 16 and 32. Um what's another one? Oh yeah, for alligator evolves 18 and 30. Or 14 and 30, my bad. Kualava evolves at 14, I think, too. At least I think so. And then, I can't really remember the rest, so I might even have tried. I was trying for like a while. Like, okay, let me think for a second. But, uh, we will battle him on the way back. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, judging by the music, I'm going to guess that she's a grass type. Well, at least she has a grass type. Am I right? Yep. Trainer's intuition. Can't believe I actually got that right there. But um, let's see what's going on now. I always have to have a somewhat of an update in each and every one of these. So let's see what's going on with me. Um. Um, I really have nothing to report. Wow. For once, I actually have nothing to say. But I guess, uh... Yeah, I really have nothing to say, except, um... I found my Blaze Blue, um... Box that I was gonna draw. I mean, there's nothing else besides that, so... Sorry, I have nothing to report. But, uh, maybe that's a relief for some of you. I don't know. But, um, maybe it is a relief because I do tend to ramble or ramble. I don't know how it's said. Ramble on and just talk about random stuff. But that's how I want to do. I love talking about random stuff. It's fun. But, uh, if you guys don't like it, then I understand. Because I can go on for, like, days on it if no one stops me. So, huh. But, um, right now, I guess I'm trying just to enjoy my last week in school and hopefully enjoy my Christmas break. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of an update I can give you guys. But, what's this? Mudkip is evolving? And one of my LPs, I was thinking of having like a level 100 starter or something, but that would be pretty stupid. Especially since I need my kid's uh, second type being ground, because that's type advantage over Ma Whale's gym, which is the third gym, I believe. So, yeah. And let's go ahead and get rid of Mud Shot. I mean, Mud Slap for Mud Shot. Wow. Because that's 
I think you can hit a lot of electric types with that. Baron, like, they don't have Levitate or some bullcrap like that. Like, I think Magnemite has Levitate. It should, though. Like, you think Magnemite would have Levitate, but it doesn't. Oh, crap. I forgot Taylor was still there. That was pretty stupid. And look at that type advantage. You see, that's only like 2 HP. That's that ground type working for you. So, yes, goodbye, Geodude. And hello, level 14 Taylor. I don't know what level Taylor evolves, to be honest. I think it's like 20 something. Or 20. I used to think it was like 16, 18, or 14, but then I did my, um. I did my uh, LP of something, I don't remember. I think it was black and white. And then I realized that you can't. But that, I don't think that was an LP. I think that was like a self LP. But like, you want to record, but you just end up not recording. I think that was that, that kind of um, day. Oh, wow. You're worried about the freaking dude? cares about the dude, they're just Pokemon, they're tools for destruction, just like Lady Rancorn always says, if they don't die, they're usable again, but well, what am I going to do, we're on our walking Pico, 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 you know you can get some of that at an ice cream truck, man, Pico's cheap, and if you don't know what Pico is, and you live in the San Diego region, you are dumb, Pico is like this really, uh, uh, it's bitter to me. Some people say it's spicy. Yeah, other people somehow say it's sweet. But it's like this uh, Hispanic candy, and it's, it's somewhat good. Not to be to be honest, it's somewhat good. It's just so bitter to, tasting to me. Man, you think I'm not gonna come? Wow. You just backed up and thought, hey, he's not gonna come any closer. I mean, it's not like it's his job or that's a part of the story. But no, let me back up. That was the best thing the programmers can come up with. Let's make them back up. They could have, like, charged us or something like they do in freaking black and white. Team Plasma holds no bars or uh, no holds bar. They just go ahead and tackle you like, I don't know, crazy people. You just come up out of nowhere and just BAM! Slam you, like, right out the way. But, uh, my boss told me blah 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 something but oh yeah give us back his goodies man don't take that man's goodies sicko that's all right that's okay mr. Bryony we got Pico back and we got the Devon guys goodies <laughs> he dot 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 it to that one. Oh crap oh I was about to be so blown face so alright, we say goodbye to them, and now we can go back to the Devon guy and give him back his goodies. Uh, I think I want to switch Taylor back in my front position too. Crap, why do I keep doing that? Darn hypercam. But um the Pokemon rule, let me check them out. Oh wait. I think you was telling me to check them out. <laughs> like, why would you check out your own Pokemon if you know they rule? That just made no sense. I make no sense sometimes. But, um, Machop. Ugh, what can I say about that Pokemon? It looks weird as hell. It's supposedly the superpower Pokemon because it gets, like, gigantic biceps when it evolves or something. But the same could be said about Conkelder. I mean, that thing looks like a crack addict or steroid dude. But how did it go? Did you get my goodies? Yep, dude, we got your goodies. You really are a great trainer. I know, I'll give you my things, I'll give you another great ball. You know what? I'm gonna slap the crap out of this guy. Stop giving us great balls and giving us <laughs> Oh my god, I gave him back his goodies and now he gave us a great ball. Oh my god. You have no idea. Hysterical. But um so then we got a parcel to slay port and he wants to talk to his boss. So we wait here. He comes back and he's like, oh, the president will like a word with you. Man, you think I give a damn about some president? Is it me or all the chairmen who look like that sprite look like pigs? Like pigs in a hat. Maybe it's just me. But you save our staff not once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of the amazing person like you. Can you deliver a package to Slayport? 
you have to go to deliver a letter to um something about a letter to Slateport and then something about oh no letter to Duford to Steven one of the uh, past champions and something else to Slateport but uh, we also got the Pokenav which is a navigator Poke navigator Pokemon navigator I guess you can call it it's basically our map and our cell phone all in one and he talks about Team Magma and Team Aqua. So now, go on with caution and care. Thanks for putting us all the way on the penthouse and making us walk all the way freaking back down. Thanks for nothing, guy. But uh, I believe once you beat the game, you can come back here and restore any fossils you have. So, yeah, there's it's basically one of those sciences. But I've been developing a new app. Basically a new app for a fucking name. Let's not even think about it. But uh, we got Match Call. Great. So basically, it's like the cell phone and um, the cell phone and um, what am I trying to say? The cell phone and gold and silver and heart gold and soul silver. But um, yeah, it's not really much to do with that. So please take great care. And I don't even know where the heck we're. Oh, we're supposed to go back down to what's his face. So. We're going to go down and we're going to leave Rustboro and go. Oh crap. Let's end it with a rival battle. Oh, hi, Zephyr. I had a match call feature put on your milk and Let's register each other. Oh, you don't want to battle? Oh, cool. I'm down. Oh crap. When they keep talking, you know they always want to battle. What you call me? A battle, bitch. Hopefully she doesn't have a combuskin because I really don't feel like dealing with that right now. Oh wow, I'm going over my time limit too, my bad. Hope some of you don't mind if I go over this limit. Oh wow, and I get a crit. What's up with all this luck lately? Hopefully this luck can continue throughout the week. Oh, you only got a trico still, man. Taylor, kill this mofo. Yeah, we just sweeped you with a Taylor. Oh crap, I thought you died. You still have that sliver of HP left, but now you don't, and now you're dead, and we leveled up. So I call that a good episode. We defeated our rival, we got the Devon Man's goodies back, and we also got a Pokenav, and we're on our way to Dufort Town in Slayport City. So in the next episode, we will be doing just that, but for right now, we're going to end it right here. Like right to the entrance. So yeah, in the next episode we'll be doing all that stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.